What's going on you guys? I know this is, must be like the apocalypse because this is my second hobby update video in like, I don't know, less than a week. So last week I finished off these um, Battlefront Plastic T55s um, from the Vietnam uh, box set. Um, I also had, so these were my old Vietnam metal and resin um, kits that I've had since uh, I did the review for them way back on WWPD, so I think that's 2013 or whatever. So these are the metal ones. So what I had to do is transform these old Soviet paint jobs for the Western Front uh, into a desert paint job. So this is how they turned out. Um, so I ended up using the exact same colors. Um, if you guys will recall, perhaps uh, these colors here were gunship green and uh, desert yellow. This is uh, khaki gray, some dark gray, and some dark green, I forget. Uh, this one here, um, in my excellent book that Scott was able to pick me up at Salute, uh, the uh, Arab-Israeli War uh, color plate book, they said that it was a lot of times they had um, like a gray, green, and a yellow. So these are the colors I've used here. The exact color, so stone gray for the, or green gray rather, gunship green as you can see, and uh, desert yellow. Um, and I think they turned out really, really well. Uh, enough so that uh, this is the entire other unit of them here. So I've got nine of the uh, nine of them done. This is going to be the tenth one. And then there's the ones I did last week. Um, the rest of the plastic ones. And then here's what I'm going to have to do as well, is turn these into uh, the T-72s in the back there are going to be T-72. I think they were called Mahmias uh, in Syrian service. So again, these are my old Soviet paint jobs. And unfortunately, I mean, you can see I've got like the guard stickers or the guards decals on the surge lights and they're all decaled out, but I'm going to have to redo all that. So that's what I'm going to be working on this week. Um, hope everything's going cool for you guys. Um, get lots of painting done, and we'll catch you hopefully next week when all them T-72s are done. I've got an event in about six weeks' time in Laval, a Team Yankee event, 93 points, um, which is really cool that they've also enacted um, the version for Flames of War artillery rules and a maximum of two formations. So... Um, the Oil Wars book won't be out by then, so I'm going to have to run these as like East Germans probably. Um, but yeah, it should be good. So now that I've got an event to aim for, plus, you know, Oil Wars I want to do. I want to get my guys done for Oil Wars. Um, and then uh, Team Yankee Nationals at Historicon, which I'm, I've booked the days off. I'm going down to the hotel. So everything's all set. Um, my plan is to have these guys hopefully done for um, mid-April, but if not by then, then they'll be done in July. And I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.